Hey guys, it's Becca with Miller's Crossing Design and this month I'm gonna show you how I painted the backdrop that I'm using for my painted furniture using DIY clay paint. It was just a white wall and with using this technique I was able to create a lot of texture and make it look really cool and industrial like it might be in an old warehouse. Ever since I started painting furniture, I've always envied a lot of the furniture artists that have cool backdrops like old barns and old buildings and I always knew that someday I would have a cool wall to do my staging with and I created it and I couldn't be happier. Farm Fresh and White Swan and I'm going to go on to the next step. This is just the base. This is not what's going to show. I wanted the variation of those two colors and it also created texture. I'll show you up close. By using a half nap roller it created texture. So the next step I'm going to do is to create more of like the plaster look. So I'll show you how I do that. This. So to create a plaster, peeling plaster look on the wall, I'm actually just taking this piece of wood that I have from one of my craft projects. You could use cardboard. And I'm just rolling gray onto it, okay? And I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna layer, see how I've gotten this look? It almost looks like wallpaper or something's been peeled off. And I'm going to take this board and I'm just pushing it onto the wall, up and down and around. And I'm going to keep doing that all around the entire wall. And then I'm going to do it again with white. And that's what will create this industrial look. So now I'm going to do the same technique with the board, but I'm going to use white and I'm actually using wall paint because I want it to be in bigger sections and I feel like the latex kind of slides around better um, and you know it's more affordable and I have a bunch of white paint laying around so I'm going to use that. So I really, really cover the board with a lot of white paint because I want it to be in big sections. I want mostly the white to be showing to look like plaster. So I'm just got on the board and I'm just literally just slapping it on there and going and moving around. And because it's latex, it really moves around well. And I'm just gonna keep doing this all over the entire wall until it looks exactly how I want it. Okay, so for the top, I decided to leave it a little bit more concentrated so it looks like it's dripping down and it's still intact on the top. So I just took the gray and the white and I'm just rolling it on, again, in different directions. And I'm gonna go all the way up to the top with that. And then I'm gonna take my water bottle and I have it on so it sprays straight out it's not spritzed and I'm gonna hit it on the edges right here 
so it'll drip down and look like it was meant to be that way instead of having where the roller stopped. Does that make sense? So it's gonna blend it. And I may even use a little sandpaper tomorrow once it all dries so I can blend it a little bit more, but that's, that's kind of the look I'm going for. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty cool. So again, this is gonna be my staging wall that I put my furniture in front of. Like that white piece kind of sticks out, so I'm gonna spray it, that helps blend it. I'm gonna do some work over there. I'm not liking how this area is looking as much. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.